Now, just to recap, the world was shocked this week at the news that no less than 67 South Africans died in a tragic building collapse in Lagos, Nigeria. One of the first questions on everyone's minds, however, was what were so many South Africans doing there in the first place? The building was believed to be a guest house for foreign members of the TB Joshua Synagogue Church for all nations. For those of you who are not aware, Pastor TB Joshua is dubbed the prophet by fanatical followers because of his purported predictions and healing powers and promises to heal the terminally ill. Even boasting with his own TV channel called Emmanuel.TV Network, it was not known how many people were inside the building when it collapsed. But keep in mind that Joshua preaches to massive crowds at his megachurch every week and according to his website, they host thousands of national and international visitors each year. Over the years, there have been many critics and several Nigerian pastors questioning his methods, but still thousands flock to him each year. Now, to further this discussion and give us more background on the ways of TB Joshua, we are joined by Dr. Maria Fram Arp from the Department of Religious Studies at the University of Johannesburg, as well as eyewitness apostle uh, Paul Akarigbo, who was in close proximity to the guest house and uh, says he went to the site just hours after it collapsed. But before we start with our interview this morning, let's just take a look at the work of TB Joshua. I don't want to use you, but you have a problem. Yes, There's a controversy over a child. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. I want to see. After giving words of prophecy to this man, pointing him to the root cause of his problem, the man of God moves on as Jesus did, ministering prophecy and deliverance to the congregation one after the other. For prophecy brings solution. At a point he came to this woman. Let's hear what he has to say to her. You have to forgive this man. Yes, sir. Because it's too painful. Yes, sir. You know, this is your second disappointment. Yes, sir. Can you forgive? Yes, sir, I will. If you forgive, you have to withdraw the case. Okay, sir. Withdraw the case and put an end to that. Okay, sir. Okay? Okay, sir. Mm. Okay, come on. Come on. Where's your husband? Come on. Come, give me your hand. Where's your husband? He's here with me. You gave Grandpa him a your prophecy. Husband. The woman moves ahead to call her husband. And the husband turns out to be the man, the man of God prophesied to earlier on about a controversy over a child. Indeed, the spirit of God is all-knowing. You know, you were sitting here. Yes. And I was telling you there's a controversy. Yes. Over a, a child. Yes. This is a son. Yes. And you did not answer me. Yes. This is your wife. I met your wife again. The same thing appeared to me. Yes. That there's a controversy issue. Well, we've also been joined in studio now by Pastor Isaka Joharuna Isak, uh, who is a colleague of Apostle Paul. Thank you, sir. Thank you for joining us. Uh, better late than ever, they say. You're welcome. Now, if I can start at the beginning, if I can just get your views around the work that TB Joshua does to set the scene. Doctor, if I can start with you. I'm going to look at this from a more sociological perspective. And what we've seen throughout history is that when people are in places of uncertainty, when people feel oppressed, when they feel that they don't have access to the things they need for a good life, then very often people turn to forms of religion that promise them all sorts of healing powers. That's not to say that God doesn't exist. It's not to say that God can't heal. The question is why do we see so many people going to a place like this? And we find throughout history that when people are under stress, they tend to turn to a, religious, a religion that offers hope. Some say false hope, Apostle Paul. What do you say? You told me beforehand you have had this experience yourself of being healed. Just give us your testimony, uh, as it were. I well. quite disagree with uh, my, uh, my colleagues here because uh, I don't think he has ever been into synagogue or been to any a religious home for prayer or anything, if at all, maybe has been to Israel. I will ask the question straight away. Why do many people go to Israel? Everywhere in the world. 
I will remain, I will leave that one for you to answer. But regarding the issue of healing, I went to synagogue in 1997. I was tested HIV positive. My mother had 15 children, 14 died. And afterwards, I was decided that I'm going to commit suicide. I dreamt in the night before the day I want to commit suicide. I saw this white guy saying to me, I will heal you and use you. I said, who are you? I don't believe Jesus. I don't go to church. My father is a serious tradition doctor. He, I don't go to church. I, in fact, I was involved in things that don't pleasing to Jesus Christ. And then when I go to, to know about Timmy Joshua, I went there. He prayed for me. And since that time, 1997, I'm HIV is free. So uh, it is done because people are looking it's for... A, it's a miracle that you are with us today. That's fantastic. That's your testimony. What are you saying to the work that TB Joshua does? Before we start the, the merits of this conversation. Well, the job that TB Joshua does in every era, or I'll call it in every age, every cycle, every 2,000 years, there's a visitation of uh, a being on earth. And uh, in this our era or age, TB Joshua is here. And uh, his service is to humanity, to heal, to assist people in their predicaments, in their problems. Does he heal all people? We've got reports from the BBC who've done investigations into uh, Channel 4, done, done investigation, showing up a whole lot of fraudulent scenarios. We had rugby players in South Africa that went there. They had cancer. Kibi Joss had told them that you are cured of cancer now. They came back and they died God, very quickly. Excuse me, let me finish. Let me yeah. finish. Okay. And then we talk about these people don't have faith. No. Why do you then sell this kind of hope to these people and then your get out clause is you don't have faith? No. It's, I was there. Pastor Saka, please, I'm sorry. I was there when these soccer players you're talking about was there. Rugby player, sir. Rugby player. Prophet T.B. Joshua have never attained to that guy in the first place. And T.B. Joshua is not a healer. Jesus Christ is a healer. So people, we must not misplace the place of God to human. Okay. So, if let's is, let's let's is, let's, news, let's, stories, let's park the conversation about okay. whether he does the the good work or, or 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 not, or whether he's a healer or not. It's not for us to decide in this forum. Let's talk about the people that died because that is what this story is about. It's about the main millions of people that are drawn there, that are not being looked after properly. A building collapsed. TB Joshua says today that, and I'll quote what 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 is the 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 press release that came out today that this is either the work of Boko Haram. Uh, and an aircraft that flew over the building and sprayed a mysterious, a mysterious spray over the building and caused the building collapse. What is your view on that? All right. Uh, firstly, like you said, it's about the people that died, that don't lost their life, and the people that, people that got wounded there. I want to first of all say, send my condolences to the family members and to all South Africans. Who Please has... answer the question, sir. Okay. Uh, I want to tell you that uh, TP Joshua have made statement. On Sunday, uh, we, this happened on Friday. On Saturday, I and Pastor Saka, we flew to Nigeria because we want to actually have information by ourselves what really happened there. And on Sunday, TP Joshua come out on a live TV to say that this is an attack. And what happened was that immediately... There, there was no attack, sir. The, 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 we, we saw, saw plane, we can see the video, there was no attack. We see There's no plane. magical spray that yes. you can spray on a building to make it collapse. I, I, I'm not there were three I, stories I, built on top of this building without following the regulations. In Nigeria, in the last six years, a hundred buildings have collapsed. Not one in that More area. than a hundred buildings have collapsed in six years in Nigeria not, okay. because building rules are being flouted and the, it's the security of people are not taking seriously. Thank you. Can I come in in that area? In the... Um, in the area uh, the church, Synagogue Church of One Nation is located, there have never been a history of building collapse. And building, when a building collapse, is it that slight left, right, or sideways? There's no, there's no, case, there's no scientific way for a building okay. to collapse, if, Okay, have you looked at the, 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 yes, the World Trade Center? World Trade Center, the way the World Trade Center came down. Aeroplanes Did flew into the building, sir. Okay, that is good. Aeroplane flew into this. But in this case, Four times an aeroplane hovers around a particular building, and on the four times... Aircraft hovers over, uh, over okay. buildings every day in every city in the okay. world, Why sir? that particular building at that time? Why? Four times. And four times. In every building, everywhere, 
in the world, in every city, we have aircraft above, the, above our buildings. Q what what kind of substance can you spray on a building to make it collapse? Well, I believe the investigation will establish that in due course. We, we hope that is the case, because if, if this is not the case, and you uh, flouted building regulations, and surely you are putting the lies... Just a moment, just a moment. The foundation of this building is capable of carrying 25, 30 stories. The foundation. The, this is speculation. Let's leave that, sir, because you were the okay, person. Excuse me, sir. You were the one who told me now. Let's wait for the investigation that, before oh, okay, okay. before we make these fleeting exactly. statements. Yes. I want to come to you, Dr. Fromm, and, and and talk about the scenario because this is not the first time that TB Joshua Ministries have been involved in a tragedy. Last year there was a stampede. A church that housed 15,000 people had 45,000 people. Fortunately, only four people died in the stampede in Ghana. How do you put this kind of scenarios in perspective when you deal with this church? It's obvious that they are not putting the safety and security of thousands of people that come there as an absolute priority. Let's park the question of whether God is healing people or not. One of the Christian ideals is to care for people, to provide for them, and the church is not doing that. If the building collapses, you've got to look at how it was built. Secondly, people died. And thirdly, people are grieving. What has the church done to support those who are grieving? Okay. How can the church allow so many people into a building that it becomes unsafe? And Christianity is a religion of care and compassion. And I don't see that being exercised, given you, that this church you, you makes lots of money from the people who come to visit. Doctor, if I may come in, have you ever been opportunity to visit Synagogue Church of All Nation? I've not been to the Synagogue Church, so you but don't I've have done 20 years of research into these kinds of churches in Africa. Uh, excuse me, let me come in there. I have been to, I've begun the synagogue since 1997. We have hosted number and number of president leaders around the world before any president walk into any building the security agent the CIA every one of them will shake that building before they move in there we have president living there two weeks one month now I want to go to your to your to your to your, to your, to your question TB Joshua today have record of over a million scholarship looking after the poor and widow, both, both Muslim, Christian, and every religion. So you don't have fact about what you're talking about, and I'm not going to go into that with you. TV Joshua is one of the richest evangelists, televangelists in the world. When? How do you come with that far? This is a, a fact. Known fact. It's a known fact. It's a known fact. It's a known what, fact. Yes. Who made him to be rich? To Who made him, Who to, made be him to be rich? Yes. Desperate people. Not desperate people. Desperate people, of course. Listen, the Bible said, I seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be yours. Yes, but... When you seek but, the kingdom first. But in this case, desperate TB Joshua people... is not out for making money in the ministry. He always emphasized that return what comes from the ministry let me, back to the ministry, let, back let, to the people. Let me, so and that is why... Oh, okay, let, now let me he has... A, let, Apostle Paul, let okay. me come in there. He, get, he a contract, the best... Leaders in the world, the best architectural engineering in the world, the best cook in the world, the best builder in let's, the world. Excuse me, sir. I'm, you I'm, said let the investigation deal with that. Yes. Right? No, no, no. I'm let's coming to the let's case park that, that she please. said. Let's park that, please. Uh, We're going to wait for the investigation. Okay, okay. That's we what we decided. We'll wait for the investigation, but yes. she made a statement. Let's wait for the investigation. I want to care. come to Dr. Frama. Please, don't attack the lady. Okay. I, want to, I want to ask you about the rise of commercial religion in Africa. Where does it come from, and is it completely foreign to the the African continent. Can I, can I Please. Stop? Okay, okay. All right. Thank you, ma'am. The rise of what we call religious tourism is not new. In the Middle Ages, we had hundreds and thousands of people flocking to places where they could get healing. So the idea of people traveling on pilgrimage is not new. Thank you. My concern is how the church is handling those people that have been hurt and those people who've lost loved ones. And this is a moment where you can really live out your Christian message of compassion. What kind of scholarship has been set up for their children? What kind of support yeah. has been given yes. to their widows? It's, okay. It is very clear now, Let sir. Me ask Wait. Okay. Let me ask the question, yes. then you respond. Yes. Okay. It has become very clear that the church refuses to, uh, to accept responsibility for what has happened. The church comes out with a statement saying a magical spray was sprayed over the building and it collapsed. This, this is all part of it. From Friday, it took four days before an official number or rescue workers from other countries could come into the compound and assist in this, in this 
rescue effort. Why, I ask you? Okay. You introduced me as an eyewitness, right? Yes. Now, you have not been there yourself. I was there. Number one, she asked that if the Bishop was a, a, a Christian or a real man of God, what has he done to the family of the people? As a Christian, you don't just speak, you act. The I team asked, of TBJ are on the ground in South Africa. I asked they've you a legitimate listen, question. Listen, they, be, they are ground in South Africa, they've been meeting families in South Africa. I, I asked have. you a legitimate question. Okay. Why are you not answering the question? I'm asking, why is the church not taking responsibility for what has happened? No, church... Look, listen, listen. When I was there, the South African ambassador, ambassador was there. Please answer the question, he, sir. He did not deny, the did not deny that the problem. Responsibility exactly. of what he, is he happening did. or what has happened. Exactly. The church has taken responsibility. And it cannot come on air to tell everybody in the world that the church has taken responsibility. We got to do this. If TB Joshua can visit Haiti, you heard about the incident in Haiti this week. He was there with the relief measures. And he gave scholarship to those, for, those unfortunate ones. I'm not asking ones. you about and giving sure scholarships in Haiti. You. I'm okay, asking about this something. incident. Why is TB Joshua not the visible face and dealing with this issue and talking to families and giving hope to people? Have, Where is TB Joshua? I'm answering is you, the question. The team on Grand South Africa. Where, are are Where is TB Joshua? TB, Where is he? TB Joshua, team so in South Africa. TB Joshua to be in South Africa. He in should be England the person be in front. In world, in he should be the kind. person in front who should be, team, who should be managing the pain and the helping the victims and the families team. who are sitting at airports listen, lost, listen, waiting for loved ones. The question listen, is this. How do you expect TB Joshua to be in England, be in South Africa, be in Nigeria, be everywhere? And this time he there has, has been a radio people. and media the silence since Friday. 12.44, this thing happened. We have not seen TB Joshua make a statement. Let, let, let me come in there. Let me tell, come in there. Let, me, let, let us not put this to an individual. If you are a human being and you really care about the people that are affected, let's talk about how to uh, arrest the situation and help the family. If the family are listening to you now on TV, what do you think they're going to say? Tomorrow, so it will be a week later, somebody. sir. Tomorrow, a week, people would Our not know where their families are. President Yokozuma spoke yesterday, the day before yesterday. The, the Minister of Public Relations spoke yesterday. And this issue had to be dealt with diplomatically. She said, we cannot just go on We air. cannot deal with this diplomatically. <laughs> families are sitting at airports all around Africa waiting for loved ones. There's no this diplomacy is needed here, sir. We Africans. need the church to come forward and tell people what has happened to their loved ones. This it is, is almost a week on later. Just, uh, uh, Grand South Africa, they are meeting the family. On the 2 a.m. this morning, they're meeting the family, and I'm not going to disclose Where? that. It we just Africa. saw 20 families sitting at our Tambo International Airport with nobody communicating with them. I'm not going to go into detail, but I know they're on team, they're on ground in South Africa. They work until 2 a.m. yesterday. Why are they not communicating with the families then, they sir? They made the family. They found the family. I have TV Joshua families. has been missing for a week. No, no, no. TV Joshua is not missing. Uh, He's alive. Missing Your ambassador, ambassador of South Africa was there with him yesterday in Nigeria. The Nigerian government were there. The Lagos State government, the Air Force officials, and all the agencies, including the team that left South Africa, they are grand this morning in Nigeria. Okay. So this is not a but, hidden story. We're running we out of time. We're running out of time, unfortunately. Listen, TV Joshua the, has the, promised the family the deceased and uh, casualties that he's going to take care of them. And in due time, you see this in action. He that? has not. Why must he why come to the public? These people never why come to the public we not before they visit him. Why has he not been How? visible on television? Team so you want him to be on the, te on the television of course, to send you it to the world? This is, a man, this is a man who this. claims to see the future. The, to do the claims to see the future. Why did you then not see me, the have future you, have of this you building Emmanuel collapse? TV for a couple of, day, couple of weeks, have you watched Lord, Emmanuel TV? Don't let us If you watch Emmanuel TV, he's, he's been emphasizing on things. And besides, TV. TV Joshua is not God. Listen, he's a prophet. Listen, look, he's don't let God. us put things Gentlemen, now. thank let you very much. We've run out of time, sir. I thank you. I thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for giving us your views, but it seems as if we will not find any alignment I believe on I this issue Africans today because we're screaming and fighting and we are not dealing with the we issue that fighting, is people is have the lost their lives and no, there no. has been very little communication with I them, am which is unacceptable. South that Thank you. Thank you. responsibility and Thank you. look after those involved and their family members. Thank, Thank you, you very sir. Much. Thank you. Thank this you is not the church. With us. Thank this you. is not a church. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Let's take a look at what's been happening on social media now. There is the question. Green Monkey asks, where was TB Joshua when this disaster happened? Couldn't you see it? People should stop idolizing these prophets. Trust in God. Amen. Wemba says, if you can see things, question is, why didn't he see this coming? Hashtag TB Joshua. Bekanim Gletcher says, 
the synagogue, only worried about TB Joshua's image, while we mourn fellow citizens that were after his miracles. Very disappointed. That is a sentiment that is shared around Africa today. You're watching Newsroom on SABC News. We'll be back after a short break.